Good day, learners. Welcome back for another visual lesson. Today, after going through this video, you are expected to divide fractions and divide mixed fractions. Before we move to our main objectives today, let us recall to give the reciprocal of each of the following. So when we say reciprocal, it is the multiplicative inverse of a number. To get the reciprocal, it is simply a matter of transposing the numerator and the denominator. So let us have number 1. So in our given number 1, which is 2 third, so to get the reciprocal, simply transpose the numerator to our denominator and our denominator transpose to our numerator. So the reciprocal of 2 third is 3 over 2. Number 2, what is the reciprocal of 12 over 7? You are correct. That is 7 over 12. Number 3, which is 7 over 8. Again, what is the reciprocal of 7 over 8? You are correct again. That is 8 over 7. Number 4, which is 1 and 1 half. As you can see, our given in number 4 is a mixed number. So before we get the reciprocal of the given in number 4, we have to convert it into improper fraction. So let us convert this first by multiplying the denominator to our whole number. So 2 times 1 is 2. Then add to our numerator 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Then copy the denominator which is 2. Now, we can get the reciprocal. And the reciprocal of 3 over 2 is 2 thirds. Number 5, the given is 5. Again, learners, what is the denominator of a whole number? You are correct. It is always 1. So now, it will give us 5 over 1. The reciprocal of 5 over 1 is 1 over 5. Again, when we say reciprocal, it is a multiplicative inverse of a number or fraction. Okay, learners, let us review the parts of division. So, 2 thirds divided by 1 fourth is equal to 2 and two thirds. The first fraction is our dividend. The second is the divisor. And the last, which is the answer, is called quotient. Example number one. Three seventh divided by three fifth. So learners, I will show you first the long method. Steps in dividing fractions. Number one, get the reciprocal of the divisor. Number two, change the operation to multiplication. So now let us do the process. We will copy three over seven or our dividend. We will change the operation into multiplication and let us get the reciprocal of 3 fifth, which is 5 over 3. Third step, do the multiplication process. We all know in multiplying fraction, n to n, which is numerator times numerator, d to d, which is denominator times denominator. But here, as you can see, we can cancel 3 in our numerator and 3 in our denominator. Why? 
because it is divisible by each other. So we will divide this into 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Now let us move the multiplication. 1 times 5 is 5. 7 times 1 is 7. Last step, reduce the answer if it is possible. Our answer here is 5 over 7. So, there's no common factor other than 1 between 5 and 7. The final answer here is 5 over 7. Okay, learners, I will show you now the short method in dividing. So, example number one, again, with the same given, which is 3 7 divided by 3 fifth. So, the short method is simply cross multiplication. The first opposite numbers will give us the numerator, and the second opposite numbers will give us the denominator. So now let us multiply. 3 times 5 is equal to 15. 3 times 7 is equal to 21. Again, remember, always reduce the answer if it is possible. As you can see, our answer is 15 over 21, which it has GCF or greatest common factor. So the greatest common factor of 15 and 21 is 3. So we will divide the numerator by 3 and our denominator by 3 also. So 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. 21 divided by 3 is equal to 7. So the final answer is 5 over 7, which is the same to our answer in long method. Before we proceed to our example number 2, I want you to know, learners, that it is up to you if you want to use the long method or the short method. Okay, example number 2, 5 divided by 1 third. As you can see, our dividend is a whole number. So again, we will convert first our whole number into fraction, which is the denominator of our whole number is always 1. Let us copy the operation, which is division, and then copy our divisor which is one third do not get the reciprocal of the divisor if you will not change the operation into multiplication that is for long method so here i will use the short method which is the cross multiplication so now let us cross multiply 5 times 3 is equal to 15. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 15 over 1 is also equal to 15. So the final answer is 15. Example number 3. 8 over 9 divided by 4. We will use again the short method. So we will copy first our dividend which is 8 over 9 and our operation which is division. Again, what is the denominator of a whole number? You are correct. It is always 1. So 4 over 1. Again, learners, do not get the reciprocal of your divisor if you're not going to use the long method of dividing fractions. So now let us continue 
cross multiply 8 times 1 is equal to 8 4 times 9 is equal to 36 observe our answer which is 8 over 36 do you think this is the final answer that's right it is not yet the final answer because 8 and 36 has common factor which is 4 so now let us divide 8 by 4 and 36 by 4 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2 36 divided by 4 is equal to 9 so the final answer is 2 over 9 okay learners let us continue using the short method in dividing fractions example number 4 16 divided by 2 and 1 fifth so again let us convert the whole number into fraction which will give us 16 over 1 then copy the division operation like what I have told you in multiplication or multiplying fractions if the given is a mixed number you have to convert it first into an improper fraction so the same here in division so let us convert first this into an improper fraction 5 times 2 is equal to 10 plus 1 is equal to 11 copy the denominator which is 5 let us use the short method by simply cross multi like 16 times 5 or 5 times 6 will give us 30 carry 3 5 times 1 is equal to 5 plus 3 is equal to 80 11 times 1 is equal to 11 So our answer is 80 over 11, which is an improper fraction. So if the answer is an improper fraction, we will convert it into mixed number. So how to convert an improper fraction into mix? We will divide. So I will show you. Let us divide 80 by 11 how many 11 are there in 80 7 so 7 times 11 is 77 subtract which is 3 okay here 7 is the whole number and 3 is the numerator then copy the denominator which is 11 so the final answer is 7 and 3 11. As example, which is example number 6. 2 and 1 half divided by 1 and 1 fourth. Since our given are both mixed numbers, we will convert this first into an improper fraction. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 copy the denominator which is 2 divided by 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5 copy the denominator which is 4 again let us use the short method which is the cross multiplication 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 2 is 10. As you can see, 20 is divisible by 10. So now let us divide. 20 divided by 10 is equal to 2. The final answer is 2. Okay, learners, remember this. 
it is up to you if you're going to use the long method or the short method in dividing fractions. If you're going to use the long method, simply follow these steps. Step 1. Get the reciprocal of the divisor. Step 2. Change the operation to multiplication. Step 3. Do the multiplication process. And step 4. Reduce the answer if it is possible. And if you're going to use the short method, just use the cross multiplication. And always reduce the answer if it is possible. That's all for today. If you have questions, you can write it on our comment box below. And always remember this, Paul Halmos once said, to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Goodbye and thank you. Thank you.